Transmission Gully is now open to the public after years of delays and budget blowouts. It follows an opening ceremony yesterday where Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern cut the ribbon for the new motorway. The $1.25 billion road travels 27 kilometres between Porirua and Paikakariki. This morning we went up in a helicopter to take a look at the new infrastructure. There are a huge number of vehicles hitting the motorway, particularly along the southbound lanes heading towards Wellington. It contrasts with the old State Highway 1 coastal road that by comparison looked like a ghost road. From the skies you could see some of the engineering achievements of the project. These include the Tiara Atoa Bridge which stands at a height of 60 metres above Cannons Creek and the 70 metres worth of earth that has been cut out of the Wainui saddle. The road's builders have also created 3.6 kilometres of reinforced concrete drains and poured over 22,000 square metres of specialised concrete to stabilise slopes. Overall, the road aims to be a more reliable, safer link between Wellington and the Lower North Island. It will also make journeys up to 15 minutes shorter for about 25,000 vehicles a day. And for those who may be wanting to drive on the road soon, Waka Kotahi says while the motorway will provide drivers with sightseeing opportunities, people should keep their eyes on the road and follow the speed limit. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.